TV Agro, The World of Pets Sorry Animal World What a pity Well imagine that today we have a special program dedicated to pets and children from all over the world Imagine that I adopted a puppy and called Spirialize Woof, woof, woof We are on television. Yes sir. Well, what we want to tell you today is that all children are invited to learn tips with my friend Fernando. Pena. Fernando. Pena. Very good, very good, good presenter. My name is Firalize, and I am a puppy. This man is called Dino and he adopted me. So I am very happy, because he gave me a home that I had lost and now I am very happy. I love you. I love you Dino, sorry Firalize, my name is Dino, the dinosaur from TV Agro, Animal World. But hey without further ado, let's give him room for Fernando to speak. Fernando now tells us about advice for children. Remember they are children from 0 to 100 years old, okay, okay, goodbye, goodbye. Hello Tvegro friends. How are you? What a joy to be with you together especially in this beautiful space that it is. To talk about our pets, well more than our pets of life, today we are going to talk about life as such, As it says in a book of Job, the animals are witnesses of the work of God. Then one realizes that there are little animals. The fauna wild, etc. But hey, here too today we are going to talk about some very special tips for all pet owners. What do you think? You have a pet dog, suddenly you have a puppy, an adopted puppy. We would like to know why imagine that today's topic is called how to socialize your puppy, your dog with other dogs, or with other humans, yes. Because when you buy a digital camera, or buy a high-end cell phone, etc. It always comes with a box and its instructions. But imagine that when you are going to adopt a puppy it is different. When you buy a puppy it does not come with instructions, that is why we are here, that is our reason for being. That you have more or less that those instructions is the redirection that we, the owners or pet owners of the furry ones, need. We are going to talk about seven tips, the first tip that we are going to talk about today is the daily walk, one of the ways to socialize our pet is that they have their routine and they have inside, it can be said that like an internal clock and they already know exactly what time you arrive, what time you get up, what time you have breakfast, lunch, dinner, etc. It is important that you know that he will always be waiting for the times, that routine is important to them. The best way that I know is to stress the routine that you take them out in the morning. At noon, in the afternoon and at night, you can give him about four little walks or a routine is where you have that space. There are people who suddenly leave their little animal at home waiting all day and often there is no routine, logically you will find disaster. Suddenly everything is dirty, so we cannot blame them for these situations because it is important to have order, and have a routine. They de-stress, and it is one of the most important ways, to socialize. Taking them out, ready. The second very interesting aspect that I want you to take into account is the mix of situations. I tell him, mix and you will win. Have you heard of win-win? There is a win-win, and win-win is, you win you, your dog wins, other animals win, 
when you have a small puppy, the idea is that you take them out after they complete their vaccination schedule, their vaccination schedule, good in Colombia or in South America or in Europe there are different vaccination schedules in the little animals. The idea is that after this vaccination schedule, because if it is a puppy and you can take it out until after its vaccination schedule, more or less at two months, a half, three months, four months, you can take it out. And the idea which one is that you allow in the park or in the place where you take them out, that other owners also socialize, caress it, etc. It is important that you get fear out of your heart. Yes. You have to stay calm because there are people who are predisposed when they take their pet out, so fears are transmitted in pets that are more fearful than others by their own owners. What I recommend is that you be there. That day you take your animal and you are calm, take it is, keep calm. Yes it is important that when you take them out, it is a win-win, we all win, ready. The third aspect is that everything happens in due time. Because more than anything complementing what I was commenting on in the second aspect according to age, many times it is more difficult to socialize an animal that you adopt that is an adult. So sometimes arrives. Let's say you adopt an already big animal and so on. And usually there are puppy pets that come with fears, with fears, it gets in the tail, they are a little predisposed to situations they experienced, suddenly with previous owners or if they lived on the streets. That's where you have to start giving them confidence, do we have to give them what? Confidence. It is important that when you go out to the park, as a fourth aspect, you take several parameters into account because if I am going to socialize an animal that does so, it can be adopted, if it is important that I carry the water, that it have a good leash, that it be suit them right, not a leash that is pulling them, that they feel uncomfortable with a leash like that, it is important that you have a leash that fits them, maybe a bib. There are several options in the vets and pets. You can look that way. And the other thing, is that it is important that you bring water, that you bring prizes, if prizes are important, because dogs learn by association. Why? By association. A little animal learns by association. Come, let me introduce you to a friend, his name is Buddy, hello Buddy, what were you doing? Was eating. Buddy, Buddy is spelled, Buddy which comes from the root of brother and I call him as a berry. Here in Colombia we say as a partner. A partner for them when they socialize, then you take them to the park. Always keep the water in mind. Prizes. So that they also feel comfortable. If you wear a leash where he is uncomfortable and you pull him, well, he will feel more uncomfortable he will feel more pressure, you will strengthen fear, you have to strengthen them, what? Trust, when there is a puppy that comes off the street or when there is a puppy that you adopt, you have to strengthen good habits, good habits come from, let's say, he behaved very well in the park, he socialized with another puppy that it is you give him a prize, buy him a prize or a cookie, but that he likes it, because there are prizes because suddenly they smell it and that's it. It is important that you bring him good prizes and additionally to that you keep in mind that you also have to bring toys. You have to bring what? Toys. It is important that we take into account these parameters, these aspects. As a fifth aspect, I recommend training or personal classes for for your pet, if it is a puppy, if it is suddenly a puppy, the younger the puppy is, 14, 15 weeks, from 3, 4 months onwards, a puppy can suddenly have some training classes, if it is bigger, or if you suddenly acquired a puppy for adoption, you can also put it in classes, 
and they give the little animal security. I think that what a trainer looks at is the behavior, I imagine that they he is going to give a class where he will suddenly generate an observation if, if he is in what condition. And the idea is that you also know the tastes of your pet so that you talk to the trainer and help you if it is important or consult your veterinarian. Or if suddenly in the you can talk about the behavior of your pet you can get to know him a little more. He can give you feedback regarding this. As a sixth aspect, if it is important that you follow your dog's signals. What are your dog's signals? The longer you know him, the more routines you have, the more moments you have out with your little animals, with your little animal, with your furry one, the more you will know him, because you will realize that the moment gets tired, because there comes a time when they get tired. Buddy, he looks like a bunny running with all the animals, he plays a lot, he gives himself up for others to play with and he starts to go round, 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 until he tires the others. Other animals in the park realize that one must see the moment in which one can already pick it up and can give it its little water, its prize, etc. Yes it is important, because what is the idea, that you know the times, if your puppy is small and all that, you are not going to mix it with suddenly a much larger dog that is a little more aggressive, you also have to be a little be more cautious and perceptive when you take him to a park. There are parks or places where you can take your pet but it was super full of dogs. I recommend that we pay close attention to their signs. Ready. Super on that side. And the last one, be careful when introducing the dogs, because I am talking about the presentation, the presentation is important. Because when socializing, it is important that you be careful, why? The idea is not to present a pincher with a Siberian, because there may be gestures or the perception of the tail, if it is very raised, if it is halfway up, if they are flapping their tails, if they suddenly bristled, you have to look at all these signs, because there are times when you don't know if the other little animal is seeing it as an aggression. It is important that you handle prudence in the seventh aspect. Friends, Thank you very much for all the advice that we offer here at TV Agro today for having listened to us. Thanks to the Creator, thanks to God for this moment and well, we wait for you until the next broadcast. Say goodbye buddy.